Okay, well, here we are at Machu Picchu, and this cave here is the Royal Mausoleum. Or at least, that's what Yale scholar and famed explorer Hiram Bingham called it, in his usual grandiose way. But there's no evidence it was ever used as such. The cave almost overlooked at first glance under the Temple of the Sun's magnificent upper observatory on top isn't actually a mausoleum at all. It holds no mummies, no tombs, no burial artifacts. What it does hold is one of the finest examples of architectural Incan stonework at any site, Machu Picchu or otherwise. The Inca took particular delight in the harmony between the natural landscape and their created world emphasizing the resonance of one with the other. Here, we can see their delicate coursework as it descends the contour of the natural rock. Individual pieces chiseled to a uniformly gapless precision. Yet, together, they flow smoothly, organically, almost sensually. To the side, they are matched by a large stone staircase here, partially altered and partially left in its natural state. It is a staircase, perhaps, in looks and name only. These stairs are uneven, would be hard to climb, and don't lead anywhere. For the Inca stonemasons, it may have been enough that they were visually pleasing. Indeed, the staircase pattern forms a dynamic visual composition with the imposing rock face above, which curls out from under the Temple of the Sun before dramatically jutting to the ground. Inside the cave, the ceiling was cut at the same angle mirroring the appearance of its outside face. In a sense, the two rocks form a kind of double jam doorway, which is an architectural detail that Inca used to denote a place of priority or significance. These rocks hover low above the staircase. The viewer or visitor is compelled inward. The cave interior is a bare space flanked on all walls by careful vertical masonry perhaps the foundation for the Temple of the Sun resting directly above. The walls have four inset stone sections, or niches, much like these, except the size and appearance of a doorway. You might also notice the unusual pegs jutting out from above. Two experts who study the Temple of the Sun, Dearborn and White, suggest that pegs like these could have supported some type of structure or framework. Current scholarship suggests that, rather than the royal tomb Bingham imagined, the cave might have held a religious, symbolic, or astronomical purpose. The latter theory is supported by archaeologist Gary Ziegler, who notes that the cave opening is aligned at precisely 65 degrees, facing the June solstice. Due to the cave's direct accessibility from the so-called royal residence, which is Machu Picchu's most esteemed residential compound, it is also possible that the cave functioned as a private shrine for important visitors or even Inca Pachacuti himself. Despite these theories, the cave's exact function is lost to time with the civilization that created it.